this is Noel here in the Light City Festival in Baltimore Inner Harbor. And I'm here envisioning the project I have created for next year festival called the Heart Chamber. I can see it in my mind, a big chamber glowing with light and filled with people basking in the vibration of a radiant heart. This is a project that has captured my heart and I hope it will conquer yours. The heart chamber was inspired by the torus, a geometric pattern present throughout the universe from the quantum level to the galaxies. Its pattern mirrors the electromagnetic field of the human heart. Light up your heart! With such motto, the heart chamber will invite people to come forward and receive a wearable technology device that will pick up their heartbeat and translate it into a sound and light show. My fascination with the Taurus dates back to 1973, when in my inner eye, I saw this deity called Green Tara being created by streams of light circling around in a pattern like a torus, like this. The torus pattern first appeared in my work in 1979 with the painting World Parents, later published in Mythosphere magazine. More recently, I made a second version of Green Tara which was published in Cosmos magazine, along with this torus flower drawing. I made this double vortex painting during a workshop at SLN Institute, where I first discovered process art painting and fell in love with it. I then spent 15 years working in this way and another five writing a book about it. The book exemplifies a healing journey through the power of art, a journey I now share through artist talks, such as this one at the Baltimore Museum of Art. Today I'd like to introduce Noel Alvarado, who is our guest speaker again. And through my Painting for Life workshop, where I guide people to paint as a healing practice. The heart chamber is just another way for me to give people a chance to experience the healing power of art. And here we see how the chamber is defined by a square platform and a spider-like metal structure nine feet high and 18 feet wide in the shape of a half torus. And so its reflection in a mirror floor creates the illusion of the complete torus centered on a glowing heart surrounded by its own mini torus. The whole chamber glows with LED lights programmed with sophisticated patterns. Their range of colors, from blue to red to full rainbow spectrum, will create a unique mood tailored to each participant and in sync with their pulse. This installation invites people from all horizons to commune as one in the vibration of the loving heart. Now, to build this project, I have partnered with two other artists, experts in their own field. David Shepard as the fabricator and Radiance as the uh, design and coding for the LED lights. 
David Shepper is a metal artist familiarly known as Dave. Over the past 15 years, he mainly worked as a special effects fabricator for feature films and televisions, including The Wire and House of Cards. Dave manages the metal shops from concept to execution. He designs custom equipment and builds prototypes. He fabricates, tests, and operates the final products, including special effects sculpture for sci-fi movies. Dave maintains safety protocols and standards for mechanical sets compatible with personal interaction, stunt-related builds including vehicle roll cages, as well as for on-set pyrotechnics. Dave also expresses his artistic talent with interactive sculptures such as this pneumatic controlled arm and hand battling a police riot shield and these design tables exhibited in Baltimore's art galleries and festivals. Dave first worked as a journeyman iron worker specializing in structural steel on major construction sites including the Baltimore Convention Center and Raven Stadium. In the early 90s, he worked in a fine art bronze foundry on projects such as the Babe Ruth statue at Camden Yards and the restoration of the Freedom statue on top of the Capitol building in Washington, D.C. Radiance is a collaboration between visual artist Erin Berry Dutro and code based designer maker Kyle Steely, seen here wearing their glowing astronaut jackets. As a team, they use the LED light, code, and audience participation as the cornerstone of their artistic practice. Erin and Kyle have received a grant for the inaugural Baltimore Light City Festival 2016 for a project called Pixel Promenade. It consisted of a canopy of more than 10,000 LED lights overhanging a pedestrian bridge in Baltimore Inner Harbor. Radiance has used this type of LED strips for its past creation and will use them again for the heart chamber. Erin and Kyle have also received grants to bring their installation to various arts festivals. With glowing flowers petting zoo, they created a hands-on interactivity where lights respond to touch. And with this water-activated LED wall, they created a wondrous rainbow splash. Hi, everybody! We can't wait to be part of Baltimore Light City Festival 2020!